Okay, so we got new intros. Kimmy, oh honey, this dress is a no. The hair is cute, but the dress is a no. Ooh, Destiny. Now you was trying to give Martell advice and here you are, single. Single. A recent divorcee and couldn't hold your marriage together for two years. So Martell was right to poo-poo your opinion. He was like, I know your man is two feet out the door. Girl, boom. Why does Letitia look like um, Marie from Bell Collective? Why is she giving? Oh, Melody is trying to give us Beyonce and failing miserably. Child, rain is what's stopping you from building Scott Manor. I think it's the budget. So Tisha wants the house to start, but she keeps changing crap. I can see her old wishy-washy throw a rock, hide her hand, butt doing that. Mara's so gonna say so, Maurice, Kimmy won't let you live here. No, Kimmy got sense and just don't want to be all up under annoying ass Tisha trying to be her best friend now that Melody's left her in the dust. Martell apologized to Mel on Steve Harvey's strawberry letter. Not a strawberry letter. <laughs> Marceau said, I, well, listen to me. Big Ugly said, I think Marceau was sincere in the moment. That's the problem with Marceau. He is only sincere in the moment. He's only committed to his orgasms. Yep, Big Ugly says he's got a problem with accountability. Oh, Lord. I was really hoping that, Mel that Melody's fashions would step up, but this confessional teal monstrosity, oh, this bow, looks like a curtain sash. So Destiny drops by, and I guess th these divorcees are going to have a drink. So Destiny had lunch with Kimmy so they could get on the good foot and keep a plot line going. Melody's shocked that Destiny is officially divorced. I mean, we didn't see LeBaric for a minute. We could tell he was checked out. But Melody, you can feign that emotion all, we, all you want. We know you trying to act. Not succeeding, but trying. Destiny said, I didn't need nobody's opinion on my divorce. I got my baby and bounced on. But she wasn't married for nothing but 10 minutes. What you have enough going on with, Melody, is picking out a decent wig. Because this red wig is giving you a goldfish tea. And this top, why is it so cheap? It's not that difficult to look nice on camera, especially in season three. Oh, Kimmy's doing meal prep. And Big Ugly's still ugly. But he gonna ask her to plan Tisha's surprise party. Meanwhile, across town, we got Tisha and her cousin Kiki, who looks just like the mama. Oh my goodness. Mealy Mouth Tisha is still heartbroken that Kimmy don't want to live next door to her. That's so unrealistic. It's not like the woman doesn't want to talk to you. It's not like she won't be your friend and you can't enjoy her company. She just don't want to be up your ass. And this is why. You're graduating with your second degree, but here you are and a glad trash bag dress and this little girl hairdo. I'm sorry, the bun and the tendril curls are giving me seventh grade, like your mentality. Kimmy said, look, y'all be trashing me, but then you wanna ask me for help. Can you help me cook? Can you plan a party? Can you extend an olive branch? And I ain't done nothing to the heifer. Kimmy, this dress makes you look like a caterpillar. There's no way else to say it. This is, if, if it's a charissi fit. A charissi fit. I mean, it's just so Alice in Wonderland. Who are you? No. No. Everybody's experimenting with green and it's going awry. <laughs> Kimmy said, call Wanda. And Big Ugly said, oh no, I'm planning this on the day she's out of town so I don't have to deal with her. So Kimmy says, you know what? I'm going to go on and do the sides and let you do the meat. I want to order some of Kimmy's food. I bet it's really good. Meanwhile, across town, Messy Martell goes by Divorce Destiny's new business. Now, Destiny, I actually have to agree with Martell on this one. It's been long enough for Melody to accept there's another child, and he can't not claim the child to make Melody feel good. That's not right to the kid. So he's trying to get her to put some crap in her store. Since I'm sure Melody ran his pockets and was the primary earner regardless. He said he ain't even signed the contract yet. Destiny's like, I smell something funky. 
Destiny said, I ain't selling shit till you sign. All oh, goodness, now it's, well, we supporting black business no matter what, and I'm coming to you with your black business to support this black business. Because I ain't got no business. Destiny said, well, apparently Mel was the brains because this lets me know that you're lacking in common business acumen. Oh, uh -huh. Destiny said, well, 12 years is a lot of work, but it's a lot of work to balance two relationships, too. And then he said, see, you won't let a man be a man. You got too much mouth. You just can't take the honesty. Melody is on her grind across town. She got a baby in one hand, a Zoom meeting in the other. She's got concerts and women's empowerments. Martel should start the fuckboy friends. So Chris wants to do something with the 47 acres. And Melody said, well, have you talked to Martel? Because I don't want to deal with his mouth or his moods. And neither do you. But now everyone's showing up to the barbecue. So Tisha's brother's asking Kimmy, are you and Tisha good? And she said, I'm fine. She's the one with issues. She wants to be up my butt. And I'm heterosexual. This is the first show where there's been very little Les Bonarchs. Then Kiki come over. Well, I think you could have had her back a little bit more at the reunion. Oh, Kimmy said, well, do you think we talked about Melody Holt? Yes or no, Kiki? Kimmy ain't here for it. She said, well, Kiki, do you and Tisha ever have a conversation about how she should have fessed up and said she did speak on it? Rather than being a mealy-mouthed little girl who throws that rock and hides that hand. Now Tisha family trying to check, Mar check Martel for that other side of the tracks comments. You see, you should have just let the mama come on. She was already the star. This whole family is hams. Hams. Kimmy pulled Tisha to the side and it's like, okay, why are you in a funk? Oh my goodness, Tisha gonna say, I don't have a sister, that's why I'm a clingy mess. Maybe you should see a therapist about that. Mm. Tisha always trying to throw a little bit of shade. I had to realize I had different expectations. You know, like you said, you're different. I value family. And Kimmy is looking at her like, do I let this go or do I have to read this heifer? Oh goodness, your actions say you don't care how I feel. What are you reading into? Okay, you still upset Wanda didn't say I love you when you was growing up. Kimmy said, well, look, you ain't never said nothing in my defense. You let them half as attack me and call me everything but a child of God. Kimmy said, I am tired of this spoiled, petulant child, and I realize I had a hand to play. Kimmy Tisha has made up your mind, and you're never going to be able to give her what she wants, so you got to give it up. Don't grab my pussy, don't grab my pussy. I'm your cameraman. I don't want to be anything more to you. I swear, don't grab my pussy. I'm not attracted to you. You look like Yoda and the Gollum.